<sighs> Attachments. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, there was a lot of thought on, do I even put this video out? But I'm like, you know what, if it's really scary and, and foreign for me, then, um, I'm looking at things, I'm looking at it now as if it must be the right thing to do, or it must be the thing for me to do. So I'm, uh, coming to you in a scenario um, that's similar to what I was experiencing early August. So I put this video out, first of all, with a disclaimer that everything is fine. Okay. Everything is fine now, but I'm sharing this, uh, video, um, to really, sh to more share the lessons I learned about attachment when I was going through a difficult time. So beginning of August, uh, is, um, you know, I'm not a huge birthday person, so I'm not a big fan of August, to be frank. But uh, when August came this year, I was supposed to, there was a lot of things that I was set to do, but because of my situation, um, professionally and financially, I just wasn't able to do them. So what happened was, um, you know, giving this shot, this uh, entrepreneur's entrepreneurialism and giving a shot at my dream, um, giving it a go. There's some there's I knew there was gonna be a lot of things that I had to learn about myself, but this one that I learned uh, in early August was a doozy. So the reason why I'm coming to you from candlelight is because in early August I didn't have electricity. Yes, I didn't have electricity, and there was no power outage. It's just that my electricity was shut off. Electricity and paying the bill wasn't a priority for me, and. It was interesting because like when I came home and the lights didn't work, I was like, oh shit, they really turned the lights off and the electricity. Now the interesting thing is like my mind, I'm like, I'll be all right. It's not a big deal. When it happened, I was like, it's a big deal. Food, bad, went bad. A lot of things didn't realize how much stuff went on electricity. But the thing that really got to me or really, really stuck out for me was... What was I attached to around my story for not having electricity? Like the story of me being irresponsible, me being like not financially responsible, me not being a go-getter, me being all these blah, 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 blah. I got a chance while I was in this darkness by the candlelight, and this is what it was really like. It was like I was here like wallowing my in my sorrow and, 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 and victimhoodness, whatever word that is. And I had to take this time where I was just like, all right, listen, man, this is what it is. I'm going to get out of this. This is a temporary situation. But like, what is this telling me? And it was like, there was a story that I was aligned to that like, okay, I'm a certain way for this to all happen. Now, the thing was, was that when I, when I was able to embrace that story that I saw, I, was, I saw that I was attached to that story. And what also was interesting was I was also attached to the story of not communicating that I was in a difficult space with people that I care about. Thing is, is I want to put up that mask like, everything is fine, when really it's not. Now, here's a kicker. In all this, like lights went out. Car got car got repoed. Shit. Now again, disclaimer: I have the car back. My lights are on. Okay, they work. Hold on, let me show you. See, they work. But what the interesting thing was was when I lost the car. That's when I was in a down. That's when I was in a spiral, because I recognized the other stories I had around the car, having that specific car, and then also the stories around not being able to communicate what I can and can't do. It was so enlightening for me to go through this, and while it did suck at the time, I was able to learn some super powerful and valuable lessons as far as my attachments to material things. Now we all have them. Are they right? Are they wrong? No, it's it's not right or wrong. It just is. It's just it's just bringing in awareness, and and I'm not attached to aligning it to like you shouldn't have any alignment to material things. No, that's bullshit. I'm not saying that. 
All I'm saying is that what is our attachment to these things? For me, it was looking at like, well, I have to look a certain way. Like if I go to a client, so I should have a certain car. It's like, or like, wow, I can't tell people that my car got repo. I, then I look like a deadbeat or a bum. Like, no, it's just a story. It happens to more people than we think. And when I was actually able to embrace these lessons around communication and 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 um, the stories and my 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 alignment to not attaching an outcome or a result or a picture or in or or, or anything to something. It gave me a chance to have freedom, a taste of that freedom where it was like, wow, you know what? I don't have any electricity, but it's so wild not hearing a hum. Like, even though the electricity is back on, I'm here by candlelight, it's still not as quiet and as peaceful as that those nights I didn't have the electricity. I could hear the crickets. I could hear my heartbeat. And it was wild. I even went to bed earlier, woke up earlier. Felt great. Not having a car. Look, man, I was able, I was walking around, getting a nice little lather up in the morning. And then also, it's just like, hey, I got to ride the bus. I met some really cool people, got to experience some things, learn to work the train, train schedule and what, where the trains can and can't go, especially going to other states. But it was a great opportunity to learn something. And it was more of a, an awareness piece for me to always remember, pay attention to what I'm attached to. What story I'm attached to something because really that story that we attach ourselves to may be tripping us up and holding us back. So this is a lesson here that I learned sharing it with you all. Watch your attachments. Watch them. I'm out of here.